Tessie ran off and loped and left us the baby. Yeah, I guess so. Look like your pa got us off a burn. My papa don't never miss. Oh, that's it. Nice work, lady. You and your dog seem rather fond of each other, McNeil. Can't nobody help loving them. Not if you know them. They must be pretty difficult to train, aren't they? Uh, oh, no, sir. We don't have us no trouble hardly at all. See there? Not even Ruffle. Well, perhaps she wasn't hungry. You don't know Lady Sawani. Couldn't make now one of our dogs eat no bird. Not unless he's one of them old no-count biscuit eaters. Shut up, Sermon. Biscuit eaters? Yes, sir. That's what we call a dog who's too sorry to hunt anything except his own food. Oh, I see him. What you say, Lon? Say nothing yet. Just watching. I'd like for you to see this set of work, if you don't mind. Not at all. Busy boy. A lot of birds in there. He's on the birds, but they're running. Watch him root them to cover. Won't you scare the birds? Not her. She just shown a little respect for the setter. What we call honor in his point. Teach them. How long will they stay like that? Bird dog has been known to hold a point a full hour. Try your hand, Mr. Ames. Well, I. Uh, all right. Maybe that white man will shoot himself. Then we won't have to worry. He missed himself and hit that bird short. Papa must have told him how. 
Why doesn't he go after the bird? He's just waiting for the order. Dead bird. Hey! Patty. Don't tell me he knew I shot this bird. Why, sure he knew. Nice work, Georgia boy. Nice work. Would have been polite for him to bring it to me. You've got some fine dogs here, McNeil. They're your dogs, Mr. Ames, every one of them. You've done a good job training them. A very good job. He sure has, Captain. The finest in the whole state of Georgia. Birds are mighty plentiful on the south Well, Fields perhaps we better be getting back to the house. There are some things I have to talk over with you. Yes, sir. Just you say. Bring a dog, son. Yeah, sir. Joe, probably gonna work for the new boss, same as he did for the old judge? Sure. I'll put him in, sir. Kennel up. Sure. <laughs> Kennel, lady. <laughs> Get up there, mule. been hoping. Well, we thought maybe when you got down here, you'd get to feel it toward dogs, sort of like we do. Dogs? Well, yes, yes. Splendid animals. Brothers, there's, there's too much fine grazing land here not to get some good out of it. Tweeting horses is... Do you know anything about horses, McNeil? No, sir, reckon I don't. I seem to have spent most of my life working with dogs. Oh, I see. This ought to be a happy place for horses. Get gwine, you long-eared horses! Get gwine! Get those dogs and run, Simon. Yeah. Come on, lady. Yeah, boy. Oh. Nice looking bunch of dogs, McNeil. Yes, sir. They shouldn't be very difficult to dispose of, should they? No, sir. I reckon they wouldn't. They represent the finest bloodlines in the whole country. They'll probably bring a pretty good price, too. Yes, sir, I expect they will. I can't hear me nary a word. Me neither. Maybe I better take these birds into the missus. Excuse me. Well, I'll wander about a bit and have a look. Don't tramp so hard, you make my cake fall. What's Mr. Ames like? What do you have to say? Some birds there for supper. What is it, Harvey? You may as well tell me now as later. Horses, that's what it is. Horses? He's gonna raise them. I declare to my living soul, Harvey McNeil, you're the worriedest man ever I knew. It's time to worry. Suppose Mr. Ames does raise horses. We'll be leaving here, that's all. Who said so? Nobody said so. Nobody had to. Let me feed Dixie some. Well, that she dog's already at. But you can feed her again if you want her, Mr. Lyon. Your dog, son? No, sir, Mr. Ames. I haven't got a dog. What? With all these fine dogs around here, you haven't got one of your own? These dogs are all mighty costly, Papa says. But he's gonna give me one when I'm 12. <laughs> That's fine. Fine. Yes, sir. 
Only I can't get to be 12 for years and years. That's too bad. That's a fine-looking dog, or is she a... a biscuit eater? No, sir, she ain't. Papa wouldn't stand for no biscuit eater around here. You want to know something? Papa says Dixie here is going to have pups. You don't mean it. Yes, sir. are by Prince White Oak. He's a champion dog. Just like Dixie here, she's a champion too. You know a lot about dogs, don't you? I can train him too, on account I watch Papa do it. A young fellow like you ought to have a dog of his own. How would you like one of these? I don't want one of them, Mr. Ames. When I get me a dog that's my very own, I want it for mine, right from the start, so as I can train him my way. A puppy, eh? Yes, sir. One of hers, perhaps? Oh, gee whiz! Is she, uh, expecting soon? Mighty nigh any time. Well, I'll be back one of these days. Maybe we'll get you one of Dixie's pups. Oh, gee willikers! That's just between us. Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Mac. This is the man of our family, Mr. Ames, my boy, Lonnie. We're pretty well acquainted by now, eh, Lonnie? Yes, sir. Yes, sir! Come on, Tex. you got to be introduced. <laughs> this is another member of our family. This is Tex. Oh, so this is Tex. Yes, sir, only there's a T on the end of it. Tex. Tex. That's a pretty special name. Ma, I heard it from the preacher man. I was a Bible boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be shoving off, McNeil. It's almost plain time. You'll hear from me as soon as I've made up my mind about things. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Sermon. Another Bible boy? Uh, yeah, sir. Uh, good day, Mr. Ames. It'd be a plum pity if one of them horses was to kick you slap dab into somewheres, I hope. Islam. Gee, text. This is awful. It's awful still in there. Mommy, we just gotta see the well with and the how come. You look, text. I can't.
You see something, text? Your poem's sermon tricks me into seeing. It's a puppy. My puppy. My little old puppy. It's twins. It's twiblets. Honest text? It's two twins. It's twins and triplets. Look again, text. It's double triplets. No, you hold on now. You got your eyes open. Sure is funny, Papa. This dream's not coming down to see the puppies. I reckon he's got other things on his mind, son. He's got to come back sometime, hasn't he? Sermon, fix up that end candle for Dixie and her six youngers. Seven, Papa. There ain't gonna be but six, Mr. Lon. When I get through chunking this skimpy little old run in the river. Oh. You ain't gonna let him. He's a runt, son. Please, Papa. Don't let Sherm kill him. Maybe he'll grow up good. He hasn't got a chance, son. He's a runt. <laughs> You're young, son. Lots of things you gotta learn. It's took 200 years to breed these dogs up to where they are. 200 years of mighty careful selection. Now, we gotta keep the blood strain pure. We gotta destroy the runts. You ain't fair. You're mean, mean. He can't help being little. Don't hurt him. I won't let you. I won't. I won't. Yeah, all right, son. All right, Lonnie. You have to go to letter carrier. I'll bet you he's bringing a letter from Mr. Ames. He wants me to sell them. All of them? He can't do that. What else does he say, Harvey? He'll be down as soon as I can arrange for the sale. He wants to get rid of all the dogs. and gentlemen, don't you realize I'm offering you a son of Dixie Queen, sired by a French white oak. Who'll make it 200? $200, thank you, ma'am. $200 I'm offered. Who'll make it three? $200 once, $200 twice, sold to the lady for $200. Number four, he has gone. It's plum pity. Give me another one, boy. Give me another dog. Yeah, sir. You have to go number five. Ladies and gentlemen, I reckon in my time I've sold about a million dogs. But it's now my pleasure to offer you the pick of this litter. And now what am I offered for? Wish I had me some money. I got a pig bank. How much is in it? Nothing. Oh. 
I wish I was dead. Who'll say two? Who'll say two hundred? Hundred and fifty. One fifty. Thank you, sir. Now, who'll make it two? Remember, this is the best pup of this fine litter. Two hundred. Don't let me get too close to that horse, man. Folks, what hole it has to be? We ain't at the dog pound. We gotta do You'll something. Find canine quality. I'm at two hundred dollars. Is that all? I know you've already made up your mind, Mr. Ames. And I don't want you to get the notion that I'm trying to tell you how to run your business. That's all right, McNeil. Go ahead. Oh, my God, days. I've been believing a promise is a promise. Are you speaking with me? Now, just cold business talk. You take Georgia boy there. Born right here on the place. And he's got the finest chance of any dog of winning the annual field trial. I know that, but don't you... That's important, Mr. Ames. None can keep a promise from being a promise, can it? It means that if Georgia Boy wins that cup, it'll put him in the $5,000 class. All right, McNeil. You're not at all. Suppose we run Georgia Boy in the field trials. That will do, Mr. Ames. Now, as they say in Paris, France, where well, they really know how to say things, there is the peace de resistance. <laughs> Look at his tail! Look at his tail, folks! Looks like the leaning tower of Pisa! Tell the auctioneer that'll be all. A needle of veracity! Who did a cool thousand dollars? Mr. Ames says stop the auction. What? We've only sold the puppies. Mind, boy. No, honey. They ain't worth the right of your limb tail. Honey, that's your dog. I mean, he's mine? Mine for keeps? Sure, you know. The promise. Oh. Here Come on, promise. promise. Here Come promise. promise. Come on, Here promise. promise. Come on, Here promise. Come on, promise. Come on, promise. Come on, promise. Come on, promise. Proper. We gotta keep on a trying. All right, Lum. You explain it again, and I'll illuminate for him. Looky now, promise. There's birds in that there brush. Smell them like this. And then you do like him. Here comes you. A squeezing up slow and easy like. Watch him, Promise. Do like he's a doing. Keep that point, Tex. Trouble is, Tex, you ain't got the right kind of tail.
a little dog boy. Let me flash him, Lon. Please promise, boy, don't do it. Do you sermon functions did of me? Or Papa? Even I ought to be through with you. Before, and now you gotta go and turn out to be a biscuit eater. Yeah, biscuit eater. Why is that dog out of the kennel? Oh, Mr. Mac, I might not shot Mr. Lon here for a chicken stealer. Get that no good biscuit eater out of here. Get him off the place. Get rid of him, you hear? Uncle Bob, no Bob, he's my dog, my dog. Get him out of here, I tell you. Get rid of him now. Bubba, Bubba, no Bubba, he's my dog, my dog. Get him off the place. Get rid of him now. Yes, Mr. You kill him and I ain't Shut your mouth, Lonnie. You hear me? Shut up.
Son, I'm giving George a boy a workout this morning, getting him ready for the field trial. Come along. No, sir, Papa. All right, son. Mr. Lawrence sure is sad, like as if I'd kill his dog. He's got to get over it. Dogs is our living. We got to keep the kennels first straight. Now more than ever. Why, every last dog on the place would be ruined by that mud of his. What did you do with him, Simon? Echo. Yonder in the swamps. He got him. Echo? Yeah, sir. Of course, I didn't hand him over personal. I just sort of tied him up to the end of the foot log by the swamps. You fool. Now, don't you worry none, Mr. Mack. He got him. That Echo sees everything there is to see. And some things no living soul ought to see. Something to swap for promise. We find him at a wackos. He don't dash going under where Echo lives at. He's a dead man. We just gotta go text. We looked everywhere else there is. If promise ain't yonder at a wackos house. Then he... He's dead. Promises John dare to wet go south. He's dead. He's... He's a blood drinker. Wacko is. He's our dog, Promises. I gotta go find out. Mom, you reckon promise 
would want us to die like this. We ain't gonna die. Can you hurt me? Here from. 
We had us a mess of calves liver last week. We got a thing text. Where's it gonna live at? And eat. There ain't but one place left for him to live at and eat. That's to my house. Yeah. Only I reckon in charity, she wouldn't have him neither. You leave it with me, Lon. I aim to ease up on Ma's gospel side. If someone ever find out our story is mother loader, I have the dead text. This the ramless ramrod ever I see. Look yonder. Old Prom's got him. He's a natural born hunter. Use your trigger line. Use your middle finger. You ain't ramble. Flash him. Don't go away. to me text to us both. You can't go in there, Trump. Don't you see that? Don't ask him to read and write. What that thing say? Ames estate posted no trespassing. You mean to say we can't even trespass? That's Papa working Georgia boy. Just like real training promise. He might see we got prom back. Uh oh. Prom! Back prom! Come back here, bird dog! Find them, honey. We gotta show the boss man. For what little I know about dogs, that's a pretty sight. Yes, sir, Captain. Us has brought him to the shape which I call without sins. He's a great dog, Mr. Ames, and I've never seen him in better form. He's ready for the field trials. And bring home the trophy, eh? We can't lose. Not with Georgia, boy. Us is a pine birds, Captain. Careful, son. Retreat me, Lord. Retreat me. Well, I'll be. A 
and flush him. I'm sorry, Mr. Ames. I thought you got rid of that infernal biscuit eater. Uh, Mr. Mack, I, I did. I got that troublemaker away from here once. You got him back. From now on, he's your responsibility. But keep him off of this place. And I ain't gonna tell you ever again. You understand? Yes, sir, Papa. <clears throat> Us has got to go away from here. He's gone and went off again. Went off? Where to? I don't know. Maybe he was his own ghost and has rejoined that dead man. He's so funny. The lady. Now we are in trouble. Real trouble. Lady Sawani. Promise. No ghost. Take him home. Tie him up good. With a chain. It's done past chain on time. Come on, Bob. Jump. Hip Jump, from. Jump. Hip from. Jump from. Jump What's the matter here, Simon? <laughs> Nothing, Mr. Mack, except a stray car dog was in the honor with a lady. <laughs> uh, I took a shot at him, but I missed him. All right. Put her by herself up in the barn. You can't afford to have anything happen to her now. Come on, sweetheart. You can't have nothing to happen to you. So I The bad luck I says. First off, there's eggs and chickens. Chickens and eggs. 
And your pa won't let Prom live to home no more. Then there was ten man that go. Next thing, that's gone. But all that misery ain't enough. Uh-uh. Now, nothing in the world's gonna save Prom when your pa find out he trespassed Lady Sohani. Lon, reckon maybe he got a devil in him, I think. There ain't but one thing left to do. Brown's got to be in the field trials. That's what. Then when he wins, everything will be all right. Then we tried everything else there is. Lon, us in trouble to do that. We gotta do it, Tex. Prom can't be low-rated forever. The field trials. You sure you want to enter this dog for the field trials? Yes, sir. I also start a heap of thinking, and our minds is unfulfilled. Aww. You're Harvey McNeil's son, aren't you? Yes, sir. I see us. And he's the son of Prince White Oak. Whilst his ma is that lady champion called Dixie Queen. Wait. Sign here. Is it all right to see the trophy now? Sure, it's all right. Why I can't us keep them all? We don't get but one. This is it. Looky, Prom. That's what you're going to win for us. But more especially, you're going to win it for you. Because nobody thinks you're any good but us. you got to do it, Prom. And nobody, nobody, not even Papa, can never call you a no compass. <laughs> and another thing, Prom, when you win, we can tell Papa about you and Lady Sawani and your youngins. Then he'll be glad. See, Prom? <laughs> and I hope you're all here. Well, once again, the best of breed and training will compete in our annual field trial. Every county, every kennel, every owner is represented. Champions and former champions, sons and daughters of champions, bloodline and class, new entries in their first general competition. But the stake is open to all eligibles. Promise. Never heard of that one. Mister, you ain't been listening to it. I He's one of the judges. Ah. Oh. They're going to hear plenty from Prom. How is he, McNeil? Great shape. Hey, good job, Simon. When your pa see that, the beginning is about to start.
Hello, son. I was wondering where you were. Are you crazy, son? No, sir, Papa. What does this mean? We're running into trials. Now, you listen. Do you want to make a fool of me? Promise isn't my name, Papa. Your name is my name. And you make a laughing stock of us. You can't run that miserable biscuit eater. He's a good dog, Papa. He can win. Take him out. I can't do that, Papa. Take him out, I tell you. I can't do that. There's no harm in him, McNeil. Let him have his try. All right, run your dog. Run him. And I reckon you'll know better next time. We're getting off on time, folks. The brace chosen for the first heat is Mr. Baker's Tip Top and Mr. Ames' Georgia Boy. To your saddles, folks. <laughs> Hmm. We'll show them all. Come from. Even Papa. I wanted to keep him from getting hurt. Folks are gonna laugh their heads off at that fool dog, and Lonnie's bound to take it hard. Probably. But he has to start learning sometime. Remember, dogs run in braces, two dogs to the brace. Scoring credits will be speed in locating birds, hunting style, holding point, steadiness at gunshot. Merit is a requirement, breeding is a test, training is your challenge. And before I forget, may the best dog win. Ready, gentlemen? Ready. Frank? Ready. Let him go! There they go, bearing it off to a good start. Both dogs in fine form. Range is wide and the day is right. Keep your distance, folks. Don't crowd the judges and handlers. This is only the beginning. Court's over, we'll see lots of stamina and plenty of heart. They're wasting no time, not these boys. Here comes Georgia boy. And here's Tip Top. Too bad for Tip Top. He broke his point. It's a mark for Georgia Boy, and the trials go right on. Two more, and more coming. Here's where class and handling counts. No simple challenge, no sir. Another one gone. There's style and grace. That's a right nice point. Another nice point. This one's trying hard. Well, they're all giving their best. The competition's keen this year, all right. A dog's got to have more than just enough to last this field trial. Nice going, fella. Now, that's bird sense for you. Uh-uh, don't do that. Few more to try. Many of the favorites have dropped out. Many an upset in calculations. Hope that betting is life for the losers. And here's promise again. Play class and lots of bird sense. This dog's been trained right. A dark horse. <laughs> and now the finals for the winning trophy. Mr. Ames' Georgia boy braced against the surprise of the trials. Lonnie McNeil's promise. And once again, may the best dog win. Easy, Prom. Take her gentle, boy. Are you ready, gentlemen? Are you ready, son? Ready, Papa. 
Ready. Let him go. Nice work, McNeil. Send hard, Prom. I'm sorry, sir. They got flushed. All right. Start him again. Let him go. All right, Lonnie, flush him. <laughs> Shucks. Now look what you went and done. Start him again. Come on, Prom. Come on, Prom. Come on, Prom. Away from that rabbit stink. Try again, Lonnie. It's a mark for you, Lonnie. Excuse me, Prom. Send him out.
Now you is dead. Hear me, fool? Do that no count biscuit eater went away from Georgia, boy. Us has lost our working jobs and eating food. I and Mr. Mac both has. Who, who say so? Mr. Mac say so. This morning when we was driving over, he tells Mrs. Mac with his own mouth, Georgia boy wins this trophy, or else it's horses. Don't tell it just me. Half that dog is lawns. Then better you see your half lose. Get. From. We're winning that trophy right now. You gotta listen, Nan. Us told Das win. Soon's gonna kill me dead. It's only kind of Mr. Ames' horses and your pa's job. Sir said, does Judge Boy don't win? Your pa lose his job. Lonnie? Lonnie McNeil? Beautiful work, Lonnie. Flush him. Flush your birds, Lonnie. Get down, Prom. Get down. I gotta do a text. I gotta do it. Get down. Get down, you... You... Biscuit eater. Go ahead, son. Flush him. Biscuit eater. Biscuit eater. Biscuit eater. Flush the birds, McNeil. Steady, boy. The boy's dog was way out in front, but after breaking as miserably as he did... It's Georgia boy, of course. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I tell you, I still can't understand it. I was wrong about that dog all along. Oh, his dog outpointed us all day, in every single test. That's right. He had seven cubbies to Georgia boy's four. There it is, a couple of kids and a dog. Enough love and patience and faith. It's easy to see how such a combination might outclass a whole kennel full of thoroughbreds. I was wrong. Bad wrong.
From. You can learn to know about things like today. Can you was something to look at? You gotta try to forgive me, Prom. You just gotta. I just had to do it. I had to, prop. I couldn't help it. Papa, he wasn't gonna have no job no more if I let you stay the winner. I had to. <laughs> If they are, son. So am I, Lonnie. He could have won, Mr. Ames. He could have. We wanted to show you. <laughs> you did, Lonnie. You showed me a great deal. A little boy became a man. And that's big stuff. I'm a biscuit eater. <laughs> Look, Lonnie. Prom had a job to do, and he did it. And Lonnie, very few of us have the honor of dying for something. We're proud of Prom. And we're going to keep right on being proud of dogs like him. You bet we are. 